but to create movement. Ah, oh, fuck, sorry. Ah. This is kind of a behind the scenes of a review that already has a behind the scenes. So it's kind of a behind the scenes section. Basically the idea for the scene came about because I was watching this movie camp demo. I think Peter McKinnon posted it or something like that. Anyway, it's incredible. You see this guy, um, he's roller skating with a um, stabilizer in both hands and then he approaches a cab from a low angle. Then he goes through the cab window and then he's able to back off from the cab as he skates backwards away from it. And I'm not a big fan of roller skates, but I am a big fan of electric skateboards. So given that the last review was of the Evolve Bamboo GT, I thought, well, maybe we can incorporate that into the review, kind of make it a whole piece and it'll be awesome. What's up? This is like a little behind the scenes video. I'm filming my latest review of the Gian Crane. And um, we're gonna do this kind of complicated shot where we have transitions between electric skateboards and regular skateboards and cars and things like that. Um, I got my friend Adam here helping me and he's just, because he's going to be riding the Evolve board, I thought he should probably have a go for the first time before we start. I'm going to be on this little guy, I think, because I can, I can push because I won't be holding a camera. And then Adam's going to be on the Evolve. How's it going? I reckon my downfall will be um, my your brake, trigger finger. Uh, the brake oh, was okay. Yeah. Um, I jammed the trigger on a little too quick at one point, and that's a really regather. Really yeah. Yeah, good. the trick. Yeah. That's, uh, were you riding it fast or? In... Yeah, I was riding it fast just then. Yeah. So the plan is basically to. Oh man, there's a forklift there. So the plan is basically to have a moving shot with Adam. I'm coming in on a skateboard, that skateboard. Adam follows me on the electric skateboard. Then I get into the car, he pokes the camera in through the window and then films me as we take off and then lets go and trails behind the car as it drives away. So what we needed for that is like an alleyway and I reckon this is a good alleyway. And a kind of a clear space where, and kind of a clear space where we can basically drive and do multiple takes without being interrupted by forklifts. Well, hopefully not too often anyway. So we're just kind of scoping out the location now. So we're just getting our camera set up. Um, because the BTS of this and how it's made is kind of an important part of the review. So we're going to have three cameras locked off. I've got a little RX100 over there. Adam's setting up his in the corner. Uh, he's got an A7S2 with a 14 mil. Got the Jami Mi Sphere on a Gorilla Pot on the car. And then Adam's going to be running my A6500 on the Xeon Crane on this Evolve board to get things through. And then I'm going to be riding that board there. And I'm shit at like, skateboarding, so things are going to fuck up, but it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, and let it go. So at this point we've got a couple of good takes. I think it's going really well. I'm just watching it now. Considering Adam had to basically learn to use the skateboard at the same time as keeping everything in fame, filming, hanging on to a car, a moving car, I think he's going pretty well. Two more takes. Two. See panning and tilting, that's not going to cut. I fuck up my life. Get out of the tilt. <laughs> Alright, so that's like take, let's say, 10. I reckon that was pretty good. Right. So, let's, let's check it out. We made a few mistakes that are definitely apparent. Um, when the skateboard bumps down the ramp, you can actually see the scene here where it's completely stabilized. There was just no way to really get it smooth without using and building a complete ramp, something we didn't really have time for. The other thing is we didn't have an ND filter for the lens I was using, so everything stopped down to f16, which I'm a big bokeh slut, so it's a real shame that we didn't really have any of that. It's kind of sharp all the way through the frame. But at least everything was always going to be in focus. Everything else in the video is kind of straightforward. 
uh, the little bit at the start where I'm talking to the Jean Crane, and Crane does not move anywhere near as fast as that, and that's a good thing. If it waved around like that, you'd have serious problems. But I just achieved it by speeding up the movement of the crane and then masking off the footage, as you can see. Another thing I really wanted to put into the review but couldn't for time was hyperlapsing. Alright, last job of the day because we got the, I think we got the take. And it's going to do a hyperlapse of this alley. And then he's going to go drink some Pinot Noir. It's a tough life. It's a really cool thing on the Gian Crane to be able to hyperlapse, mainly because when you're hyperlapsing with a tripod, your camera's always static. Whereas if you hyperlapse with a Gian Crane or any other type of gimbal, you actually get camera motion blur that you don't have to add yourself in post. So you can have a one second exposure and actually have the middle of the frame in focus and then the scene blur around you. It creates a really cool effect, but it just didn't fit for time. Anyway, the reason I really wanted to talk about this and make this video in the first place was just to kind of celebrate the fact that the Gian Crane is kind of an awesome way for people like me, you know, amateur filmmakers, to basically step out the game cinematically, get the amount of movement into shots and make things really dynamic and exciting with kind of minimum effort. And the mere fact that you're able to one hand one rod rolling an electric skateboard around just kind of shows how easy it is. So basically next what I want to do is start compiling a list of shots that really kind of focus on the ability of this gimbal because as an exercise to myself as a budding filmmaker and you know maybe a little tutorial if anyone wants to watch but anyway that's going to be coming up next and thanks for watching subscribe if you want to see more